Distinguished invitees, especially the members of the press, we are honored here today to have uh, the Eton Boys in our midst. Yeah, leo tukua na ugeni mzito, tukua na ugeni wa shule ya Eton, wanyo na Eton, wanyo na Eton, wanyo Eton, Eton, ah, lakini Eton ni buwana, kwa kiswahili. Hii shule ni shule marufu sana po ingereza. Ni shule ambayo tayari imekusha waelimisha mawaziri waku kuminatisa. Eton College is not just as a normal school as others. You know, come, be, being somebody from Tanzania where we, we, we didn't have the culture of having different levels of, uh, of schools. Well, after being here for some time, I have now discovered that uh, a school matters a lot. When you hear people asking, where, which school did you go? Or when you hear people telling you about their schools that they have been to, you come to understand that a school matters a lot. So a school like Eton, having 19 prime ministers, is, is not just a, a normal school. So as part of the Tanzania High Commission and the, the, the United Republic of Tanzania as well, we are very, very honored to be in cooperation with this school that has a mark in the history of this country. Eton was founded in 1440 by King Henry VI of England, educated 19 British prime ministers as well as many members of the cabinet and parliament in general. The current Prime Minister, David Cameron, the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, are all holy tones. As well as this, the school has educated royal families from all over the world, including the recent Prince William and Prince Harry of the British royal family, both taught by Glenn Pierce, head of sports at Eton. The school has been referred to as the chief nurse of England's statesmen. One renowned saying is that the British Empire was built on the playing fields of Eton. My involvement is as a result of both of my two sons, aged 14 and 18, going to Eton and both hoping to become professional tennis players. Eton School and Glen Pierce in particular have been supportive in this quest to achieve this level of sport together with academic excellence. I recently formed a safari company called Safari Hub together with my co-director Navraj Hans, a Tanzanian inaugurated by His Excellency Mr. Peter Kalage. The Safari Hub have the greatest of pleasure in sponsoring Glenn and the Eton boys on their forthcoming trip to Tanzania. Sports is a way of bringing the children to school. So if they come to school, they will get an education. How can you bring children to school in a rural area where they have other things, more if they consider important things like food and, you know, nourishment as such. But football will bring them in from an educational point of view. Give them, the talented boys, a chance to progress further, but also by bringing the Western boys there from Eton, for example. Kwa hiyo leo ametutembelea wana mradi ambao huu mradi una una umeanzishwa na unachangiwa sana na kampuni ya utalii mmoja inaitwa Safari Hub. Kwa hiyo hawa Safari Hub ndio walioianzisha hii huo huo mradi, mradi ambao una 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 malengo ya muda mrefu na malengo ya muda mfupi. Eh, malengo ya muda mfupi ni kwa, kwa, kwanza kujaribu kuangalia kuanzisha mashindano madogo kwa mikoa kwa, 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 kwa kule Arusha na Moshi kwa shule chache kama sita wenyewe anaita kama ndo pilot project yani mradi wa, wa majaribio We are about to embark on a wonderful trip involving our partners Ace Africa a charity who are going out to work for at least a month two of the boys are staying for longer than a month uh, I've never done charity work before. I've taught at Eton for 20, well this is my 27th year teaching at Eton and I've been offered a, a chance to have a sabbatical, to take a term off and to go and freshen up, to get some new ideas maybe about my job or to see other areas of the world, but to come back hopefully, hopefully revitalised. I think this opportunity is an amazing chance for me to go and experience 
a new African country. I've never been there before. I'm very, very excited about it. I'm very excited about meeting up with my friend Joanna Waddington, who is heavily involved with Ace Africa. Um, and I, I'm also excited working with three boys who I happen to be a tutor to for their final two years at Eton and to see how they cope um, with the football project and the other exciting areas that are going to be open to us. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I, I've, already, I've been to South Africa before so, and I've really, I've absolutely loved it there. So this should be just as fun, hopefully. I think me and Ali were just talking about this earlier actually. We're going to say, I was going to say, he's going to do a bit more of the attacking coaching. Uh, me, personally, I'll do like defending, defending, so like jockeying. I heard you guys don't, um, you're all quick and so you don't really play the ball in the air. I was speaking to uh, one of the guys in there and they said you didn't play the ball in the air so much. But I'm teaching a bit of heading, maybe a bit of jockeying, defending in general. We have, we've raised over £23,000 already for this trip um, and all of that money is going towards setting up this project uh, to pay for some equipment. A lot of equipment we've been given as well. The last piece of my jigsaw puzzle is trying to get all of this equipment out to Tanzania with me on Sunday. We are flying on Qatar Airways, who sponsor Barcelona, and they're hosting the World Cup in 2022. But they haven't been very generous in giving us any money, or sorry, not money, they haven't given us much excess baggage allowance. So I'm just hoping we can take, because I'm going to have 20 to 30 bags of kit and equipment to take out with me, all of which is to give to the children in Tanzania. Football shirts, shorts, socks, footballs, equipment, boots, training shoes. We've been given an awful lot of equipment. Orphans, as a result of, of uh, HIV and AIDS, they, they have some very difficult uh, problems to, to confront in their, in their daily lives. Um, and uh, we are hoping, and in fact I'm pretty convinced, that this will be this this uh, um, football program will be a huge um, boost uh, to them and, and will will help them in all sorts of aspects of their, their personal development. So um, we're absolutely excited to be involved, but mainly we want to wish you guys luck and, and hope that you have a, a thoroughly enriching experience. Um, and uh, uh, we look forward to hearing about it uh, as, uh, as the, the, your, your trip um, progresses. Ladies and gentlemen and, and members of the press, uh, let me take this opportunity on behalf of my colleagues from Mission, first of all, to thank you for coming in and perhaps to elaborate, as Amos said, why we felt it was perhaps necessary to see, to see the team off uh, that is going to Arusha. We feel greatly honored to be associated with this initiative where the Eton, uh, the Eton are going to team up with people in Tanzania. But before I do that, let me thank uh, my good friend, Zizi uh, Pnabrakaku, from the Safari Hub, who is really, he was the one who initiated this project. He did not the fact, as he said, that his two sons are, are studying that. Thank you very much, Dino, for making this. Glenn, thank you for choosing Tanzania. I know there is a important thing to penetrate the same Amazon establishment. Uingereza na Europa si kama Amerikani. Si kila mtu ana fursa sawa. Sasa hiki chuo ni kama kichuo kama tunaoelezea ambacho kinazalisha viongozi wa kesho wa Uingereza katika fani mbalimbali. This school produces prime ministers, mawaziri, wabunge, industrialists, authors, actors, wanasheria, majaji watatoka hapa. These boys are going to be the future leaders of the country. Kwa sisi kukaa karibu nao na kuwaweza katika moja kazi zetu balozi kuweza kuwashawishi kwa nchi ambayo wachague kujenga nayo mahusiano na vijana wao wa kila mwaka wanaopeleka waelewe nchi Tanzania ni jambo kubwa. So for them to be exposed to this in their formative years I think is only good for Tanzania as a whole. Nchi yetu kwa bahati nzuri ina jina zuri duniani inajulikana kama nchi ya amani eh, wanaangalia kwa nchi nyingine labda zina matatizo wanajua nchi yetu ina democracy eh, watu wetu wa karimu kwa hivyo ndio maana kama mchango wetu kama ubalozi tulidhani wasiondoke bila kufanya kijitafrija kidogo cha kunywa chai cha kuwatakia heri 
Lakini pia kuwaita wandishu wabari na, na kuomba muelewe umuhimu wa shule hii. Shule hii kama usema ni shule ya kwanza duniani ya wanaume. Hivi labda ni, ni jamba malo sila kawaida kule kwetu. Sabu tunazona shule zote sawa. E, shule zote sawa. Lakini kwa wenzetu shule zinatufotiana. Tukana uwezo. Shule ambayo mesumesha wajukuu wajua wamalikia. E, ina historia ya miaka tunambiwa miyane. Eh, Tangwezi za faume eh, shule hiyo. Kwa hiyo kwa wao kuangalia duniani wangeza kwenda poto, wangeza kwenda Peru, wangeza kwenda Malaysia, Australia, Kenya. Kili, eh, Kenya eh? Lakini wameamua Tanzania. Lazima na sisi tu, tushukuru kwa mba sifa ya, ya nchi yetu ni kubwa. Kwa tulidhani tu, tuwaite ili tu Kai now one or look at you, my If you have any question, please come forward, give us your name, ask the question, and you fail. Yes, I'm very much for uh, Malaysia and Switzerland. You were in Tanzania, Swahili is the main language. Are you going to have an interpreter or are you going to learn the language? I would love to. I mean, the only word I know at the moment is Jambo, uh, <laughs> which is a good start, but I, I hope to learn the language as, as I think. People with a, a level of education, especially an eating education, we, when we go abroad, we try and integrate. You know, it's the best way to learn the culture and get into the customs by learning the language. So I hope we will all be trying to do that um, as best as possible. Hi, I'm a legal journalist. Can I ask, ask Glenn, um, what will actually happen over the, the first two or three weeks? I hear about the fucking project. What do you, how does it actually manifest itself? What are you actually doing? We're going into schools. We're, we're taking, or hopefully taking, a load of kit and equipment with us. And initially, there are six schools involved in the pilot scheme. And we will be operating some coaching and some inter-school matches. And what the aim is, is to try and encourage children to, to attend school through football. You know, they, they will see that having an opportunity to, to compete and to, to learn and to have a chance to play with proper equipment they will then get the opportunity to, to compete with other schools. But if they don't turn up to school, they don't get that opportunity. So we're trying to encourage them to get to school. And once they're in schools, then uh, they can be educated properly with, with all the things that happen in schools, as we, as we know. Mimi nadhani, kwenye ligi za ulaya, wamesha gundua kwamba vipaji vingi vya mpira viku Afrika. Viku Afrika. Lakini pia kuna mshangao kwa nini hakuna wachezaji kutoka Tanzania ambao anacheza katika Kwa hivyo hizi ni hatua ambazo na sisi tunaziunga mkono kushawishi vijana wetu ili wa, ili wacheze mpira ili waangalie mpira kama taaluma. Mpira kama professional sio wachezaji, kama taaluma. Eh? Sasa ile tumezungumza Alfred mara nyingi umuhimu wa kuwa na nidhamu ya kitaaluma. Hawa wanaamini kwamba uwezi kucheza mpira kama unapuuza elimu uwezi utacheza mpira utagota sehemu fulani kwa kuna sehemu ni lazima uwe na nidhamu ya aina fulani ambayo inatukana na elimu well me i think i speak for the rest of the guys as well that we we know we've had a very we're very lucky to have gone to a school like Eton um we know we're very privileged and on our year abroad in between studying, what we really wanted to do was we wanted to give a bit back to someone who, to people who haven't had maybe as privileged a, a school, schooling as we have. And so that's what we really want to do. Um, we want to go out there. Uh, it's mainly about the kids. You don't spend 27 years teaching in a school if you don't love them, if you don't love the job. I work with highly motivated children, um, very, very keen on their sports. Eton is a seven day a week boarding school, so that the children are there 24 hours a day. And sport is a big, big part of their, of their daily life. You don't have to hold a gun to anybody's head and say, right, you've got to go and play football, you've got to go and do rowing, or you've got to do cricket. The boys love their sport. And I'm sure it's the same in Tanzania. But the most important thing that we have is to start with the relationship of Tanzania with the Balozin and the issue of Eton. I know that the relationship of this is going to be a lot of benefit for our country. Me and Ali again, it's, uh, the other two are going back, but we're going to... What are we doing? We're going on safari, uh, like, on Gorogoro Crater, Serengeti, I think we're doing, and then 
Uh, we're also going to... The safari, because we won't get to see the Serengeti, I don't think, when we're there. And I'd really like to see the, the Great Mig Migration, is it? The Serengeti. Yeah, there's Great Migration in the Serengeti with all the water buffalo and the wildebeest. So that would be really cool. So I'd like to go back and see that. And everyone I've spoken to about Tanzania loves it. Tanzania, in my opinion, is a hidden gem. It has the best natural resources, a bit of everything. Apart from the mountain climbing, the safaris there, the beach holidays in Zanzibar. And yet, if you ask a man in the street in London, or in the UK, about Tanzania, they'd say, why should I go there? It's Kenya or South Africa. And I think it's a hidden gem, because we don't know how to market our country. And I say our country now, because I feel very much Tanzanian, having gone there, doing business there, and I feel it's a pleasure, not just a duty, a pleasure, to show the world what we have to offer.